good morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Academic Awards, years four to 11. I'd like to invite Mia Bennetts and Albert Dinevor to the stage for the acknowledgement of country, please. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land where we are now gathered, the Gaibal and Jarawa people, and recognise that it continues to be sacred to them. We hail them as guardians of the earth and of all things that grow and breed in the soil, as trustees of the waters, streams and rivers, ponds and lakes, and the rich variety of life in those waters. We thank them for passing this heritage to every people since the dream time. We acknowledge the wrong, wrongs done to them by newcomers to this land and we seek to be partners with them in righting these wrongs and living in, together in peace and harmony. May we walk gently on this land. <laughs> And in commencing with prayer, I'd like to invite the 2021 College Captains Bronte Hood and Exqualix Patalicio Farmasuli, please. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Creator God. We give thanks for the wonderful gift of life with all its joys and responsibilities, ex its experiences and opportunities. We give thanks for our work honestly done, for our games well played, and for all the truth we have learned and the good we have been able to achieve during 2020. We give thanks for the, prep for the precious memories and exciting hopes for the coming holidays. Help us to complete this year of our life and begin new in the peace, the joy, and the courage of our being which is your love and gift to all who will accept it. Keep us thankful for our days that against all odds, we may never lose sight of hope and delight. We pray especially that Christ may be born in our hearts through the faith and that we may be grounded in love. May we truly know the breadth and length, the height and depth of the love of Christ so that we may be filled with all the fullness of God. God, you're full of goodness and love. May you hold us close to your heart and give us peace and joy. We give thanks for our parents, teachers, and all the Downlands community who have supported, nurtured, and loved us through this year. We pray that the blessings of the Christ child will be upon us as this academic year comes to a close. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Parents, it's wonderful to have you here today. You will know that we've had limited opportunity to come together like this as a community throughout the course of 2020. And what a way to end our year. I'd invite you all, please, students, parents alike, to be upstanding for the opening hymn.
Thank you. Please be seated. And please make welcome for the principal's address, Mr. Stephen Cook. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our parents, our online visitors, teachers and students. As I begin, I would like to acknowledge Father Vince, Father John and the MSC priests and brothers who have shaped Downlands to be the college we know and love today. I would also like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we work and live and recognise their continuing connection to land, water and community. I pay respect to elders past, present and emerging. I also acknowledge the important role Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have within the Downlands community. When I sat down to start writing this speech, I thought it was very ironic that I was going to write a well-prepared script after the year we've had. There is nothing about this year that's been planned or scripted. It's been about responding as best we can to provide and continue to provide a quality education. So the next little bit, there is no script. I guess in reflecting, the word that came to me was grateful and thinking about why in my role I'm so grateful and as a school we should be grateful. So firstly, to our administration and support staff, I'm so thankful for the job they do, the hours they put in, the relationship they develop with you as parents and our students. Their care and concern for our students is unbelievable. The phone calls they take, the follow-up they do. So please keep in your thoughts our administration and support staff. They care so deeply about you and want the very, very best for you on all occasions. Our boarding staff. Our boarding staff have had to manage something this year that the majority of schools have not. They've had to look after students who have been stranded from their homes for very, very long periods of time. Even more so, they became pseudo mums and dads, making hundreds and hundreds of phone calls home, keeping connection with families, connection with students, going above and beyond in all that they do. Again, I'm just so grateful for the quality of our boarding staff and their care and their ability to know each individual student and what they need to be able to grow as a great downlander. To our teachers, no one signed up for this, was not part of any teaching degree. There's no professional development you can do for it. What it shows with our staff is they're extremely flexible and responsive to the needs of our community. They went from teaching within a classroom environment, that safe, comfortable space that most of us have worked in our entire life, to an on-site teaching forum, forced to use the technology, Microsoft Teams meetings, and then more Microsoft Teams meetings. Feedback, communication, phone calls home. Some students back on site, some students still off site. Changing the style of assessment so that we could best support students' growth. Throw in on top of that a new QCE, supporting Year 11 in that journey. So to our teaching staff, grateful seems not enough. But I do hope each and every one in here with parents and students know the hours that our staff put in. Teaching is certainly not an 8 to 3 or 8.30 to 3 o'clock job. The marking, the exam setting, the coaching, the musical performances, 
it is endless, the hours that our staff give our students. And we are so lucky and we should be so grateful. To our parents and families, thank you for your support. This year was not manageable without you supporting the students, the school and our staff. I know we don't get everything right. We're not perfect. As in Constitution 32, we're a family. Families don't get everything right. But what we do is work together, talk to each other and look for the best outcomes provide the best opportunities, whether that be academic, whether that be social growth, sport, performing arts, we work together. So again, I'm just so grateful for the supportive community that we have and the trust you placed in the school. And lastly, but by no means least, to the students. It's a tough gig being a student. It's a tough gig being a young person. And often we don't thank you enough. It's really difficult sometimes as teachers and sometimes as leaders within the school. You see a group of 15 to 20 young people walk past, 18 or 19 of them are dressed immaculately, but your eyes drawn to the one that isn't. And unfortunately, what that results in is often we come up and speak to the students and speak to them about lifting standards, improving the uniform. But we do forget that probably 90% of the students are immaculate. So it should be thanking them. And I want to do that today. So thank you very much in a very, very difficult year. You are the heartbeat of Downlands. And without you, we can't live out the MSC values. Now, with each speech, you often hear some sage advice from quotes from the past. This year, I don't need to seek the past. We had a very, very powerful piece of writing provided to us earlier this year by one of our Year 12 students. And it was titled The Creed of a Downlander. And I've just picked a small section out that I think is really relevant today. And this section's titled, To Be a Downlander is to Learn. It is the ultimate goal of any education system to inspire lifelong learning. The Downlander ethos is that wherever life takes an individual, they will have the social and emotional skills to learn and grow as people. Without failure, there can be no success. Without fear, there can be no hope. It is only in living each day with the intent to learn and grow that true spiritual fulfillment can be achieved. Curiosity, interest and eagerness are emotions that transcend classroom learning and give one the tools to learn from the ways of the earth around them. A curious person is never bored an eager person never worried, and an interested person always in search of more knowledge. It is through this understanding that a downlander comes to know that in living each day to the full, the learning appetite can be satisfied and there is no limit to the success a downlander can achieve. That was written by one of your peers. I hope that reaches inside and inspires you a little further for next year. And that creed is finished with this. To be a downlander is to be a person devoted to kindness, understanding, a sense of humour, friendship, humility, hospitality and simplicity. Downlander isn't a title, it is instead a way of life. Again, something to be truly grateful for. So my reflection for this year is we have a lot to be grateful for and very thankful for our community. 
To finish, I'd like to wish you a happy and safe holidays. And may the sacred heart of Jesus be everywhere loved forever. Thank you. And now to commence the awards presentation, please welcome Mrs. Sue Weir. Good morning and welcome. Today we have the opportunity of recognising just over 200 students for their achievements during this year. However, before we start, I would just like to take the opportunity of recognising all students this year for their persistence, their determination, their engagement and their growth during a very challenging year and I continue to encourage them to strive to be the very best person they can be. So to start today's awards, we're going to have the presentation of awards for application to studies. This is awarded to students who have shown excellent application to studies across a range of subject areas. I now call Mr Keith Blakey, team leader of the junior school to the lectern. Uh, thank you, Ms Weir. Uh, good morning. It gives me great pleasure to announce the awards for application to studies for the year's four to six students. Could you please hold your applause until each recipient has received their award from Mr Cook as the students will reassemble down the bottom of the, the stage and then I will give you the signal, which is pretty straightforward, hopefully. Uh, I'll start with year four, uh, Zachary Bray. Bryce Clark. Toby Savage. Trent Wainwright. Please join with me in acclaiming the Year 4 students. In Year 5, Fletcher Brownhall. Oliver Brownhall. Lachlan Bruton. Savannah Horner. And Kate Richley. Please join with me in acclaiming the Year 5 students. Thank you. In Year 6, Maggie Herring. Bennett Horner. Sarah Kelly. Alexander Phillips. And Zoe Welsh. Please join with me in congratulating the Year 6 students. I 
I would now like to call on uh, Ms Jo Pearson, Year Leader, Team Leader for Year 7, who will present the Year 7 Awards. Good afternoon. It is my absolute pleasure to present the awards for application to study for Grade 7. First up, oh, could I please ask before we start that we please hold our acclamation until all students have been announced. First up, we have Nicholas Boyd. Penelope Bruce. Oliver Colthorpe. Anne Fitzgerald. Annie Jackson. Darcy Kelly. Andrew Luck. Edie Newman. Cooper Noble. Samuel North. Thomas Pierce. James Reilly. Jem Smith. Scarlet Stumcat. Madeline Tooley. And last but not least, Samira Walsh. A wonderful group of young people, I'm sure you'd agree. If we can please applaud our wonderful Year 7s. I'd like to now call upon our Year 8 recipients for the Application to Studies Award. Charlotte Baker. Gracie Bell. Tim Birrell. Pepper Bray. Obi Costigan. Taylor Golly. Grace Green. Claire Matheson. Zara Noble. Trinity Ruhead, and Sophie Walker. Could you please give these year eights a very warm round of applause? <laughs> I'd like to now call on Mrs. Lauren Russell the Year 9 Leader to present the Year 9 Awards. It gives me great pleasure to announce the following Year 9 awardees. Lara Brophy.
Laura Conway. Will Cronk. Logan Flynn. Gemma Fryer. Jade Hassel. Eliza Lawless. Lily May Manthe White. Mia Nuscio. Miles Robinson. Chloe Roach. Megan Savage. Soph Smith. Lucia Sperling. Tate Stewart. Cormac Wainwright. And Bonnie Zappa. Congratulations, Year Nines. I'd like to now call upon Mr Ben Wright to award the next set of awardees. Good morning. I'd now like to call forward the recipients, Year 10 recipients, for the awards for applications and studies. Molly Ballantyne. Matilda Bruce. Miriam Bullock. Megan Carey. Mason Carlion. Darcy Conway. Kira Edge. Lauren Fraser. Bronte Gillette. Hannah Gordon. Jessica Lawless. Harriet Lloyd-Jones. Molly McPherson. Emily Owens.
Billy Rickett. Tully May Turton, and last not least, Petey Yeomans. I'd also like to note that Peter is the recipient of uh, the Esprit du Chevalier Award um, for Year 10. Uh, this award is given for embodying the values of the MSC. If you'd now join me in acclaiming the Year 10 recipient. <laughs> I'd also like to invite Miss Karen McLeod, Head of Senior School, to the lectern to present the awards for Year 11. It's my pleasure to announce the recipients of the Year 11 Applications to Study Awards. Hayley A. Thorne. Timothy Bond. Thomas Butler. Ellie Close. Harrison Costigan. Abby Coveney. Henry Cronk. Tiana Eggins. Molly Fraser. Amelia Hadell. James Hunter, Charlie Johnson, Amy Kuhn, Chiara Pugno. <laughs> Ella Scarborough. Lillian Tate. Bella Waters. Please acclaim the Year 11 recipients for application to studies. We now move to the presentation of awards for academic achievement. This award is given to students who have gained very high levels of achievement across a range of subject areas. I now ask Mrs Lee Leek, Head of the Curriculum in the Junior School, to the lectern. Gives me great pleasure to announce the recipients of the Academic Achievement Awards for years four, five, and six, starting with the year four awards. Evie Fisher. Kaylin McNichol.
Paul Rowhead. Just getting it together. Let us congratulate those recipients. And now before moving on to Year 5, we'd like to acknowledge the award for academic excellence in Year 4, and that is Paul Rowhead. Now it is my pleasure to announce the Year 5 recipients of Academic Excellence, Emma Burkett. Annie Costigan. Lucy Kruger, Eugenie Lee, Benjamin Patterson, and Sadie Patterson. And let us congratulate the Year Fives. And it is now with great pride and pleasure that I announce the uh, recipient of the Award for Academic Excellence in Year 5, and that is Sadie Patterson. Now I'd like to acknowledge the award recipients for academic excellence in year six, Isabel Jimenez Huentes. <laughs> Bridie Norton. Alexander Patterson, Nathan Savage, and Grace Tunney. Let us congratulate the Year 6 recipients. <laughs> and 
And it is also with great pride and pleasure that I announce the recipient of the Award for Excellence, Academic Excellence in Year 6, and that is Bridie Norton. And I'd now like to call to the stage Mrs Sharon Thanabal to announce the Year 7 Awards. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the Year 7 recipients for the Academic Achievement Awards, Sophia Bartlett. Liliana Brownhall. Ellen Carl. Loretta Carpenter. Miles Farrington. Luciana Flowers. Michael Foley, Rusty Gillis, Ella Gunther. Guy Hassel, Sarah Holman, Abigail Hyde. Lily Mulcahy, Paris Orr, Jenny Q, Claudia Russell, Piper Smith, Hayden Waddell. Please congratulate our Year 7 recipients. <laughs> the Downlands Award for Academic Excellence in recognition of excellence in Year 7 goes to Paris Orr. Please congratulate Paris. <laughs> Ms. Jen Lowry will present the Year 8 recipients to you.
This is a great pleasure that we announce the winners for the awards for academic excellence, uh, ex academic achievement for year eight. Vivian Forbes. Charlotte Hansen. Lily Herring. Charlotte Johnson. Hudson Oliver. Ruby Pascoe. Thomas Pickering. Pikaraminos, sorry. Oliver Rutherford. Rebecca Thomas. Isabella Tyrrell. Chelsea Welsh. Hayley Westman. And Carrie Wisikowski. Could we all applaud the students who've received awards for academic achievement? And the award for academic excellence in recognition for excellence in year eight goes to Re Rebecca Thomas. Please acclaim Rebecca. <laughs> now call on the team leader for the middle school, Mr. Rudy Gadella, to call the year nines. Good morning, and welcoming the year nine academic award recipients, Angus Bennett's. Georgia Caulfield. Thomas Foley. Gemma Gallagher. Lucy Gunther. Jesse Hollingsworth. Lily Kirkbride. Grace Kruger. Emma Lawson. Sebastian Lee. Chloe Ma. Riley Matthews. Max North.
Can we please congratulate the Year 9 students? Downlands Award for Academic Excellence in Recognition of Excellence in Year 9 is Angus Bennett's. Can we please congratulate Angus? I would now like to invite Mrs Leanne Butler, Curriculum Leader for Mathematics, to the stand. It's my great pleasure to announce the award recipients for academic achievement in Year 10. Erin Chandler. Felicity Donner, Claire Fitzgerald, Thomas Gleeson, Penny Kelly, Erica Kirkman, Connor Ringleben, Georgina Simpson, Lachlan Taylor, Grace Thompson. Kian Beryl, Matthew Weir, Belita Welsh, Olivia Winter, and Lily Wisikowski. Can you please acclaim our Year 10 award recipients? Can we please welcome back to the stage to receive the Downlands Award for Academic Excellence in Air Recognition of Excellence in Year 10, Belita Welsh. I'd now like to welcome to the stage Mrs Leanne Colthorpe, the Curriculum Leader of Science. It is with pleasure I announce the recipients of the Academic Achievement Award for Year 11, Mia Bennett, Victoria Brown, Claire Buchanan, Max Caulfield, Matthew Gillette, 
Petrus Groot, Eloise Koo, Jemima Koo, Lillian McCarthy Cole, Jacob Stewart, Ashlyn Stiller, Matthew Taylor, Brianna Tebbett, Toby Thielander, and Charlie Watson. And can we please acclaim the recipients of the Year 11 Academic Achievement Award. And to announce the recipient of the Downlands Award for Academic Excellence, Eloise Koo. And I'd like to invite Sue Weir back to the stage to announce the Vocational Education Awards. The first category of Vocational Education Awards is for Excellence in SATs. This is awarded to students for excellence in a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship. Some of the students today will not be here because they are doing their vocational pathway, but we will still recognise them by calling them out. Firstly, Hayley Arnthorne, Angus Brash, Fletcher Dar, Thomas Gleeson. Lillian Jessen, <coughs> Luke Norman, and Ned Stedman. Please join with me acclaiming the students of vocational education in SACS. The next category is Vocational Education Excellence in VET Certificates. It is awarded to students for excellent progress towards the achievement of VET certificates. The first recipient is Jordan Aramona, Holly Betts, Diami Bleedstow, Timothy Bond. Angus Brash, George Dowley, Fraser Leslie, Amy McCosker, Josh Menges. James Samuelson, Tyson Smith. Emma Thompson and Keone Williams. Please join with me in acclaiming the Vocational Education Excellence.
We now move to the additional university awards and recognition. The first award is the QUT Engineering Technology Prize. It is awarded to the student for excellence in Year 11 Engineering Technology and the award recipient is Matthew Taylor. Please join with me in acclaiming. The University of Southern Queensland, USQ Head Start Program, in recognition of the successful completion of a first year university subject. Harry Costigan. <clears throat> Cormac Gearan. Eloise Koo. Jemima Koo, Isabella Mogg, Ashlyn Stiller, Brianna Tippett. and Bridget Lokowski. Please join with me in acclaiming the USQ Head Start Student. We now move to the special awards. The first award is the ADF Long Tan Leadership and Teamwork Award. It is awarded for leadership and teamwork initiatives across a range of college activities. The award recipient is unable to be here today, but it is Erica Kirkman. Please join with me in congratulating her. The Junior Oratory Award. The winner of the Downlands Oratory Competition in the Junior section this year goes to Abigail Hyde. The Junior Young Voices Award, Downlands Public Speaking Award for years four, five and six, Emma Burkett. The Junior School Visual Art Prize. The winner of the Junior School Visual Art Prize for this year is Isabel Jimenez Fuentes. The Middle School Visual Art Prize, the winner for this year is Jade Hassel. The Carl Prize, outstanding contribution to the cultural life of the college by a middle school student. Two recipients this year, V. Davis and Jessica Field. I now call Mr. Dan Fraser to the lectern. Good morning, everybody. As you've seen this morning, um, Downlands has had an outstanding academic year in 2020, 
and a heartfelt congratulations to all of the award recipients uh, for application to studies and for academic excellence. We are all obviously looking forward to the end of 2020 for all of the obvious reasons, but uh, we're already very excited about what 2021 will look like for us here at the school. And over the past couple of months, we've gone through a process of electing our college leaders for 2021. And uh, we haven't had the chance with a whole gathering to announce all of those students across all of the captains um, and leadership positions. Today will be an announcement of those uh, leadership positions. More formal recognition and celebration of those students will happen at our investiture mass at the beginning of 2021. So while they won't be coming to the stage, we give our heartfelt congratulations and good luck for next year to the following students. Our college captains for 2021 will be Bronte Hood and Squalix Padalesio Famasili. Our college vice captains, Max Caulfield and Molly Fraser. Our college leaders, Mia Bennetts, James Casey, Henry Cronk and Rachel Kirkwood. Our boarding captains will be Albert Dinova and Emma Thompson. Our boarding vice captains, Connor Melvin and Chelsea Reed. Our jewels captains are Grace Taylor and Tori Brown. Sports captains, Charlie Lockwood and Bella Waters. Performing Arts Captains, Tom Butler Lily, and Lily McCarthy Cole. And for our House Captains, in Jouet, we'll have Claudia Egling and Caleb Lindsay. In Piperon, Karis Eady and Mitch Olickson. In Treond, Amber Lunn and Nick Russell. And for Vondell, Claire Brophy and Portia Fermenta. Can we give all of those students a round of applause, please? And I will say that even though their formal duties really kick off in earnest in uh, January and February next year, all of those students in their various roles have uh, begun those leadership journey already and performing well in them. And a particular congratulations uh, to the Jouet team, um, led by Claudia Egling and Caleb Lindsay for their victory in the Interhouse Performing Arts Carnival earlier this week. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd invite you to be standing for the closing hymn. Thank you all. Please be seated. Well, that concludes the award ceremony today. Again, parents, thank you very much for your attendance. It is wonderful that we can, um, that we can be here together. You do, of course, realise that everything is now live streamed and there are some people watching this from the comfort of an air-conditioned lounge room. But thank you very much for your attendance today. Thanks. 
Um, there need to be given, well, thanks need to be given to a number of people who have, um, who have brought today together as well. So, Mr Ian Spence, who no doubt has been preparing for today, doing lunges around the courtyard as he stepped up and down off that chair, but otherwise completely unseen, sir. Thank you very much for the photography this morning. Please give Mr Spence a round of applause. Mr. Goebel and Mr. Masters and everybody in the bio box uh, who have conducted the live streaming, of course, throughout a majority of events this year and brought, um, brought this together today as well. Thank you very much, gentlemen. <laughs> Mr. Tooley, who you may not be able to see just down there, he's waving in case you can't see that for the music. Thank you very much, sir. Mrs. Weir, Mrs. Lynch, Mrs. Carpenter, um, who have brought together the awards, but also, of course, with the help of the curriculum leaders in particular and pastoral leaders, um, thank you very much too. <laughs> and students, your opportunity uh, probably to acknowledge and echo Mr. Cook's words earlier on. Um, your teachers do a remarkable job here. They do it for you, no other reason. Please thank you, teachers. So, students, it's 12.19. At 12.34, you'll be dismissed. That was 34. <laughs> so you have approximately, well, you have exactly 15 minutes. Let's not beat around the bush. That's exactly what it is, 15 minutes. Parents um, who are here with, uh, with your students, uh, you're, you're able to take those whenever you like within that 15 minute time frame. <laughs> that, that's entirely up to you. But what we would encourage probably is uh, movement to the front lawn in a moment. You might like to get some photos and things like that. Mr Spence is going at a pretty good rate today. Please take advantage if you so see fit. Uh, but without further ado, parents, I'd invite you to head out to the front lawn. Students, just remain where you are, whether you're an award recipient or not for the moment, please. <laughs> 